To the naked eye, Nyla Moore looks like your typical fourth grader. Cute, innocent, and eager to learn. But there's more to Nyla than what meets the eye. For the past two years, Nyla has made it her mission to collect winter clothing for the homeless. Her campaign, Warm Hugs for the Homeless, was inspired by a conversation Nyla says she had with her late mother and God. I was just like sleeping and then I felt all of a sudden like I felt like I had to do something. So I asked my mom what, she, what I could do and then she told me I could, I could help her by helping the homeless. So the next day morning I woke up and I was on the phone calling all over the place trying to get somebody to come on board to start this. That's when Paula's Donuts stepped in. Palace Donuts has been helping me, and without them, this campaign would never have um, been here. Paula allowed Nyla to use all three locations to collect winter clothing, and in one year, Nyla has seen her donations more than double. Last year, I had eight barrels, and now I have 19. Nyla's grandma, Lisa, says Nyla gets her generosity from her late mom, Kayla. Kayla was that person who was a giving and caring and nurturing mom. And Kayla was that individual that was always giving back. And she even believes that Kayla initiated the special recognition Nyla received in class on Thursday. I do believe it came from Kayla. She called that 809. And 809 to me is when Kayla passed. So of course it was Kayla coming to us and saying, hey, I, I'm here, I'm helping you even though I'm not physically with you. I'm still with you. Two county legislators came to Nyla's fourth grade classroom to present her with the Young Achiever Award. We really wanted to take an opportunity to thank her for really making a difference in her community and teaching this lesson to so many. Maybe other little boys or girls will be inspired to do it too. Nyla's not currently collecting any more clothing, but expect her campaign to be back by the start of next winter. In the newsroom, Jenny Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.